Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to tell you how to fix EASC25 loading back into lobby in finite loading screen. Solution 1. Restart the game. For PC, press Alt plus F4 or click on the X button in the top right corner of the game window to close it. Locate the EASC25 icon on your desktop or in your game library. Steam, Origin, etc. and double click it to launch the game again. For PlayStation, PS4 or PS5, press the PlayStation button on your controller to go to the home screen. Highlight EAFC25, press the options button and select close application. Navigate back to your game library and select EAFC25 to start it again. For Xbox, press the Xbox button on your controller to open the guide. Navigate to My Games and Apps, highlight the EAFC25, press the menu button and select Quit. Go back to My Games and Apps, find EAFC25 and select it to launch. Solution 2. Delete configuration files. Press Windows plus R to open the run dialog. Type percent local app data percent and press enter. Find and open the folder named ESport FC25. Look for files like settings.ini or any other configuration files and delete them. Reboot your system before launching the game again. Solution 3. Check for updates. For PC, Steam. Launch the Steam client on your computer. Click on the library tab at the top of the Steam window. Find EAFC25 in your game list. Right click on the game title and select properties. Under the Updates tab, ensure that Always Keep This Game Updated is selected. If an update is available, it will automatically download when you launch the game. For PlayStation, PS4 or PS5, go to your home screen and highlight EAFC25. Press the Options button on your controller. Select Check for Update. If an update is available, follow the prompts to download and install it. For Xbox, press the Xbox button on your controller and select My Games and Apps. Find EAFC25 in your list of games. Press the menu button and select Manage Game and Add-ons. If an update is available, it will show up here. Select it to download and install. Solution 4. Update Graphics Drivers PC Users Right-click on the Start menu and select Device Manager. Expand the Display Adapters section to see your graphics card model. Go to the website of your graphics card manufacturer. NVIDIA, NVIDIA.com, AMD, AMD.com, and Intel, Intel.com. Open the downloaded file and follow the on-screen instructions to install the driver. Return to Device Manager, right-click on your graphics card under Display Adapters and select Properties. Check the Driver tab to confirm that the driver version has been updated. Solution 5. Clear Cache. Console Users. For PlayStation 4 or 5, Press and hold the power button until you hear a second beep, about 7 seconds. This will turn off the console completely. Disconnect the power cable from the back of the console. Leave it unplugged for at least 5 minutes to ensure the cache is cleared. Plug the power cable back into the console. Press the power button to turn on your PlayStation. For Xbox, press and hold the Xbox button on the front of the console until it turns off completely. Disconnect the power cable from the back of the console. Leave it unplugged for at least 10 seconds to clear the cache. Plug the power cable back into the console. Press the Xbox button to turn on your Xbox. Solution 6. Reinstall eSports FC25. Go to your game library, right click on eSports FC25 and select uninstall. Restart your computer after an installation. Download and install eSports FC25 again from your gaming platform. Start up the game after installation to see if it resolves your issue. Solution 7. Contact EA Support. Visit the EA Help website. Go to the EA Help website at help.ea.com. Select your issue. Use the search bar to enter your specific issue or select from popular topics related to your game or account. Thanks for watching the video. Do like, comment and share our video. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for upcoming videos.